7314 megabytes per second or 7.14 gigabytes per second. This is the speed of data transfer that you can achieve by connecting your device to the world's fastest Wi-Fi, Ygig. This means you can download 7 movies in a second. But what about 102,400 megabytes per second or 100 gigabytes per second? This is the speed of data transfer that you can achieve with Li-Fi technology. With Li-Fi, you can download 100 movies in one second. How is this incredible internet speed possible? Well, it is possible with LED lights. To understand Li-Fi, let's have a quick look at Wi-Fi. Let's say you want to send a message to someone you care. How would you do that in this digital world? You heroically open your phone, connect to internet, open a messaging app, type your message and click on send. This whole messaging thing is colorful and feels simple. But what just happened here? How did the text from your phone travel to your friend's phone? You can see that there are no wide connections between the phones. It means your message made an adventurous journey through air. But how is that possible? Message is just a type of data. Data can be audio, video, image and many more. You take the help of your phone or any similar device to send the data. But it is impossible to send the data directly as shown here. Because your data is not a letter and your phone is not a post source. So your data is converted into computer readable data containing zeros and ones which is also called binary data. To send binary data, you can use Wi-Fi or Li-Fi or other technologies. Today, we are using Wi-Fi because it is a wireless technology used to transfer data between computers, mobile phones and other devices which enables us to access the internet. In Wi-Fi technology, we use electromagnetic waves which can travel through air at enormous speeds. Speaking more precisely, we use radio waves. Your binary data is converted to a unique radio wave with certain amplitude, frequency and phase in a process called digital phase shift keying. The radio wave travels through air and reaches the other device where it converts the radio wave into binary data and then into human readable information like messages, images, audios, etc. This is how Wi-Fi works. Let's talk about Li-Fi. In 2011, a professor at University of Edinburgh introduced Li-Fi technology in a TED Global Talk. Li-Fi stands for light fidelity from which we can sense that it is related to light. We've been using the help of radio waves to transfer data between devices. But Li-Fi uses visible light instead of radio waves to transmit data. In Wi-Fi technology, binary data is converted to radio waves. But in Li-Fi technology, binary data is converted to light waves or visible light. This is called VLC, visible light communication. Visible light is a section of electromagnetic spectrum whose wavelength ranges from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers approximately. To send data using Li-Fi, we need a light source which acts as a transmitter. As light sources, we use LEDs which are expected to be more efficient than fluorescent lamps. LEDs are the semiconductor devices that emit visible light when an electric current passes through them. LEDs can glow brighter and become dim a million times a second if you vary the supply of electric current. When LED is dim, it's zero. When it glows brighter, it is one. This is how we send binary data through Li-Fi. To receive data, we need a photodiode which acts as a receiver. Photodiodes are also called light detectors. These are the semiconductor devices that receives light and converts it back into electric current. When the binary data is received, the device converts it back into human readable information. We can use an array of LED lights to achieve enormous data transfer speeds up to 100 gigabytes per second. In some special cases, Li-Fi can send data with an astonishing speed of 224 gigabytes per second. Now think about this. Is it really necessary to think about Li-Fi? You may think that Wi-Fi is enough to satisfy our internet needs. But that's wrong. Due to the drastic increase of internet users all over the world, Wi-Fi will not be able to keep up with the demand of data. Another major problem is various government and private agencies rely on their unique frequency ranges to send and receive data between themselves. Due to the increase of users, 
this spectrum of frequencies is becoming very very dense. This may lead to a problem called spectrum crunch. It means it becomes very difficult to provide sufficient frequencies to the new users. This phenomenon decreases the speed of data transmission through Wi-Fi. This warning of spectrum crunch was given by US Federal Communications Commission. Also, it becomes easier to hack into Wi-Fi network, which demands the extra security expenses for safer data transmission. But LiFi's visible light spectrum is 10,000 times larger than radio frequency spectrum. This eliminates the possibility of spectrum crunch. We need to worry about the situation called electromagnetic interference. This is an unwanted disturbance to the radio signal caused by external sources. Places like hospitals and aircraft cabins are very sensitive to electromagnetic interference. So we can't use radio waves for data transmission, but we can use Li-Fi technology for communication at these places. Li-Fi can be used anywhere including seawater where radio waves fail to travel. In addition to that, the overall energy required for data transmission using Li-Fi is low compared to that of Wi-Fi. The environmental impact of Li-Fi is low compared to that of Wi-Fi. And Li-Fi is expected to be 10 times cheaper than Wi-Fi. Since the data is transmitted through LED lights, and LED lights are almost everywhere in the world, it is not such an expensive task to implement this technology. This statement was supported by the company Pure Li-Fi. They are believing that, in the near future, it is possible to use solar energy to transmit data. That's why the implementation of Li-Fi is such a considerable option for an enhanced data transmission. Along with these benefits, Li-Fi comes with some problems. This is a new technology. So implementing this on a large scale requires new kind of infrastructure, which are not available now except the LED lights. The photodiodes which receive light can detect the sunlight and other forms of bright light sources. This can cause disruptions in the network. However, this can be solved by using an optical fiber to filter the noise from unwanted light sources. The coverage area of Wi-Fi is 20 to 100 meters, whereas Li-Fi can cover only 10 meters. There are some more challenges that we have to face before having Li-Fi in our homes. Li-Fi may have a faster data transmission rate. But now, it can't replace the place of Wi-Fi. Both have pros and cons. Scientists believe, if we use Wi-Fi and Li-Fi together, it'll be a revolution in the history of internet. Thank you for watching.